If your hospital or imaging facility is in the market for a new MRI scanner, one of the most daunting questions you'll face is, how much does an MRI scanner cost? You'll have multiple options, features, and capabilities to consider, and all of them will impact the price tag. In this video, we'll explain the different factors that go into the final cost of your MRI system and help you get a better idea of how much you can expect to pay. You're going to have multiple options, features, and capabilities to consider, and all of them will impact the price tag. In this video, we'll explain the different factors that go into the final cost of your MRI system and help you get a better idea of how much you can expect to pay. First, there are three basic tiers of MRI scanner you'll be choosing from. Entry level, mid-range, and advanced. Let's look at what you can expect at each of these pricing tiers. An entry-level scanner typically includes eight channel systems and most open models of MRI. These can be a good fit for smaller facilities making their first MR investment. Be prepared to pay more for parts if you're buying used or refurbished, as older systems typically mean scarcity for replacement parts. Now let's look at mid-range MRI scanners. Mid-range MRs typically have 16 to 24 channels. They offer more functionality, better clarity, and faster speeds. They also have enhanced software options and an improved coil set. Because they're newer, parts are more widely available and the system can be serviced for a longer period of time. Finally, let's look at advanced system. These typically have a 70 centimeter bore which helps to reduce claustrophobia and better accommodate larger patients. They have enhanced capabilities such as advanced digital interfaces, they have an improved signal to noise ratio, and they typically can provide the highest quality results. Now that you know the three pricing tiers of MRI, it helps to understand magnet strength. Most current MRI magnets have field ranges between 0.5 and 3 Teslas, or Ts, although research hospitals and large health systems have also begun to install 7T systems for maximum versatility and image definition. In general, the higher the T, the greater the image detail, but also the higher the cost. Healthcare providers have historically relied on field strengths of at least 1.5T to acquire clinically acceptable images. That changed in the last couple years thanks to the rollout of the first ever 0.55T MRI systems from Siemens Healthineers. This is known as high VMRI, and these 0.55T systems have a small footprint, reduced reliance on helium, and a wide range of clinical capabilities. 0.55T scanners are among the most affordable options on the market. 1.5T MRI systems are the next level of strength. They offer sufficient speed, features, and quality for the bulk of scans conducted today. The price point will be higher than the 0.55T models, but notably lower than the next higher magnet strength unit. Because reimbursement levels are the same for 1.5T and 3T units, the 1.5T choice is often the right option for many MRI applications and users, especially rural providers, hospitals of low to average imaging volume, and imaging centers with limited budgets. 3T MRI is the common choice for health systems that conduct highly detailed studies and research, such as scans of the brain. This technology and power comes with a notably higher cost. However, you could potentially conduct more types of scans than would be possible on a 1.5T system, so there is a potential for higher revenue too. 7T MRI scanners provide maximum clinical capabilities and image quality with absolutely no compromise. The first ever 7T MRI for clinical use, the Magneton Terra, arrived just a few years ago. Due to its newness, capabilities, technology, and infrastructure needs, the Magneton Terra is not for the budget conscious. It's exclusively going to be used by those who need unprecedented imaging to make research breakthroughs. There are a few other things that will affect costs, starting with infrastructure. Architecture and planning, potential remodeling, shielding construction or installation, and even engineering and electrical upgrades all have a cost associated with them. You also need to plan for the expense of deinstalling your current system. Helium adds an additional cost. MRI scanners consume helium in a process called boil off at different rates. The higher the boil off rate, the more helium required to keep it cool. And the more helium required, the higher the long term cost to run your scanner. High VMRI requires far less helium than a standard system. The rise of helium free infrastructure, which does not necessarily mean a helium free system, typically means less extensive construction. Some systems don't even require a quench pipe, which can make hy V a big money saver over time. Which brings us to your grand total. 
With all the factors above taken into account, the cost of your new MRI will be somewhere north of $500,000 at a minimum. This lower end applies to a refurbished or budget-conscious system with minimal additional construction or installation costs. For a 1.5T or 3T MRI scanner, you're likely looking at $900,000 or more for the system alone, with additional system options and construction costs bringing that total to well over $1 million. You can expect to approach or surpass $2 million if your work demands the highest quality images and the best workflows possible. Finally, for those seeking the absolute pinnacle of imaging with a 7T system, $7 million is a likely investment. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed what you saw here, please remember to like and subscribe to Castling, follow us on social media, and for more information about MRI scanners and the cost of an MRI, visit castling.com slash MRI.